Welcome viewers to the third segment of the third lecture for the online series of lectures for the course of dynamical systems. Towards the end of the last segment, we defined continuous dynamical systems. In this segment, we'll start, we'll start this segment with some examples of continuous dynamical systems. Example 1. Let f from u2 r to the n be a C1 vector field then the flow flow map theta of the vector field f defined earlier In, in this lecture is a continuous dynamical system is a continuous dynamical system system if for all p in this open set u the initial value problem dx over dt is equal to f of x and x at 0 is equal to p has a solution that exists for all t in r. So, if this initial value problem admits global solutions, then we'll have uh, this continuous dynamical system theta. Okay. All right. Now we'll have our second example. Now, we define uh, the continuous dynamical system theta, which is a map from R cross R2 to R2. This is the space part and this is the time part by theta T comma pq that t takes value in the set of real numbers and pq is a is a vector is an ordered pair that belongs to r2 is defined by cosine t minus sine t sine t cosine t this matrix is going to act on this vector p q this is how this dynamical system is defined we, we gotta verify we are yet to verify that it's indeed a dynamical system for all t p q in r okay now we need to verify that that is indeed a dynamical system let's do it To verify that theta indeed defines the dynamical system first observe that Theta of zero comma pq. So just plug in zero here. You'll see that 
cosine 0 is 1 and sine 0 is 0 leading to the fact that you'll have this to be the uh, 2 times 2 identity matrix times this vector pq which is just the vector pq okay so indeed we get theta 0 comma p to be p okay the first group action axiom is satisfied for the for this definition of theta now verify that theta t plus s comma pq is equal to cosine t minus sine t sine t cosine t cosine s minus sine s sine s cosine s p q we need to verify this okay so the left hand side this is actually cosine by the definition of theta it's cosine t plus s minus sine t plus s sine t plus s cosine t plus s acting on pq okay okay now let me erase this part and by this uh, the famous trigonometric formula we can write it as cosine t cosine s minus sine t sine s and this is minus sine t cosine s minus cosine t sine s then we have for this sine t cosine s plus cosine t sine s and then we have cosine t cosine s minus sine t sine s the vector pq okay and we can immediately see here that the right hand side so upon multiplication reduces to cosine t cosine s minus sine t sine s and then the second entry in the first row is minus cosine t sine s and then minus sine T cosine s here this is sine t cosine s plus cosine t sine s minus sine t sine s plus cosine t cosine s pq okay now compare these two matrices and see if they are the same indeed they are the same cosine t cosine s minus sine t sine s they are the same minus cosine t sine s minus sine t cosine s they are the same sine t cosine s plus cosine t sine s they are the same cosine t cosine s minus sine t sine s they are the same okay good so indeed we verify that the second axiom for the group action is also satisfied for the definition of theta in example 2 okay good now
important thing to note that for each t in the set of real numbers, the dynamical system theta from r cross u to big U induces a map, this map, this dynamical system induces a map on U, meaning that it will yield a map from U to itself, denoted by theta T from U to itself and given by theta sub t acting on t is defined to be theta theta of t comma p for all p in u equation number 25 okay the map theta t from u to itself defined by 25 is c1 okay good now from Using 23 and 24, let me write the two group action axioms. Um, what, were, what were 23 and 24? 23 was theta 0, comma p is p, and 24 was theta t plus s, comma p is equal to theta t, comma theta s, comma p. Okay. So using these two equations, one immediately finds that theta t minus t comma p is equal to theta a zero comma p is equal to p, which is in turn equal to theta t comma by this second group action axiom is theta minus t comma p. So you arrive here from here using the second group action axiom. Okay. There that is p this p is equal to theta of t comma theta of minus t comma p. And by this definition of this induced map, theta sub t, one immediately says that this is nothing but theta sub t composed with theta sub minus t acting on t. So p is equal to theta t composed with theta minus t acting on p. Well, you can write it as minus t plus t, and to end up to end up with theta minus t composed with theta t acting on p. Hence, we obtain that theta t composed with theta minus t is equal to theta sub minus t composed with theta sub t is equal to i d, where i d is the identity map. Okay. It means that the identity map acting on a vector gives the vector back. Okay. Hence, um, hence, hence, theta sub t is C1, right? With an inverse. Right? 
which is also C1. What does it conclude? We say that theta t is a diffeomorphism of u. We say that theta sub t is a diffeomorphism morphism of u. Okay? Because it is a continuously differentiable map with a continuously differentiable inverse. If it were just a continuous map with a continuous inverse, we would have called it a homeomorphism. But since it is continuously differentiable with a continu continuously differentiable inverse, we give it a different name and call it a diffeomorphism. Okay. Okay. Now, Hence, a dynamical system theta from R cross U to U induces a family of diffeomorphisms. Diffeomorphisms this is the family as t takes value in the set of real numbers. It's a continuous family of diffeomorphisms of the set u into itself. So whenever you have a continuous dynamical system, it induces a family of diffeomorphisms given by this family from u into itself. Okay. Now we want to revisit our example two. Okay. To find this uh, induced map or induced diffeomorphism. To, to understand it in a better way in terms of example example to revisit it okay recall from example 2 that the dynamical system theta from r cross r2 to r2 was defined by and we we indeed verify, we verified that it is indeed a um, dynamical system. Theta t comma p q is equal to cosine t minus sine t sine t cosine t acting on this vector, two vector p q for all t p and q in r this is how we define this dynamical system theta in example two. so this dynamical system this dynamical system theta here induces a map theta sub t from R2 to itself whose matrix representation see that this is indeed theta sub t right whose whose matrix representation is given
given by this matrix, right? This matrix that we have, you know, written down here. Cosine t minus sine t sine t cosine t. Okay. This map, this map, this transformation, okay, from R22 itself, right? It's a linear map and this geometrically represents a rotation of the plane through an angle of t something like this this is the say x y plane and this is say that you have z axis going through this region perpendicular to this x y plane and it rotate this plane x y plane about this z axis by an angle t set by this angle in the positive direction counterclockwise by an angle t so the underlying transformation is given by this 2 times 2 matrix. Cosine t minus sine t, sine t cosine t. In radians, t is in radians. Okay. Good. Now let us get to the notion of orbits. Orbits. It's a very important notion in the in the study of dynamical systems. It means that the set, so whenever we study dynamical systems, there is a group which is the additive group of real numbers, and there is a set on which this group acts, right? And that set is this open set U of R to the n, right? And this action of group, the additive group on this open set of R to the N should satisfy a couple of group action axioms that, that are fulfilled by the properties of the flow map of the underlying vector field that we have already seen. Okay, now, so this is the set, the, the, the space set. And if, if you choose a point, no, we, if, if this is the space set, we want to divide this or no, compose, decompose this uh, space set into non-intersecting uh, subsets like this, okay? These are the orbits going through, you know, if, if you choose a particular point, there is only one subset like this going through this point this is the orbit going through going through this point okay so no two subsets go through the same point okay so um now let us try to define this this notion of orbits first it, it is now of importance to us to look at orbits of of poems in the set on which the group acts so see that orbits are precisely subsets of the given space set that we are working on in particular this this set u of r to the n something like this if this is r2 then the orbits are going to be something like lines going through points in in r2 that do not intersect each other okay so now here goes the definition of orbits definition orbits let theta of t comma p denote a dynamical system okay meaning that theta well is a map from r cross u to u no, which obeys those two group action axioms. Okay. Denote a dynamical system on an open set open set U of R to the N. Okay. Now fix a point given P in U, fix a point P of this open set U, the orbit of 
the, you call it the orbit of the flow theta, the orbit of the flow theta through P, okay. So you have to associate the flow here with the orbit through the point P and that is going to be the set, the set gamma sub P defined by gamma sub P is going to be the collection of all the points of of this um, open subset of R to the end such that x is equal to theta t comma p for some time in the set of real numbers. Okay. So you're gonna find all those points by varying t in the set of real numbers. So finding all the points x in u by varying t in this map theta t comma b by fixing this point p. Okay, now example 3 for this lecture which concerns the notion of orbit. For the dynamical system, for the dynamical system, theta from R cross R2 to R2 given in example 2 let okay so we are considering this dynamical system now that we discussed in example 2 let P0 Q0 be a point in R2 because the underlying space set for that dynamical system is R2, we fix a point P0, Q0 in that uh, space uh, set such that that's, that's not the region. So we take this point to be anything except the region. That's what we are saying here. We pick up a point from R2 which is not the region. Now, according to the definition of the dynamical system, theta t comma this point p0 q0 or this vector p0 q0 is equal to cosine t minus sine t sine t cosine t acting on this vector p0 q0 which is nothing but p0 cosine t minus q0 cosine t and the second component of the vector is p0 sine t plus q0 cosine t okay good Since P0 cosine T minus Q0 sine T whole squared plus P0 sine T plus Q0 cosine T whole squared. So I'm taking, you know, taking the square of these components and adding them up see that it results in the following expression p0 square cosine square t plus q0 square sine square t minus 2 p0 q0 cosine t sine t okay then i have p0 square sine square t plus q0 square cosine square t plus 2 p0 q0 sine t cosine t. This cancels against this number and by adding these two numbers we have just p0 square 
and by adding this one with this one we have just q0 square okay so we have seen that um, no matter what we choose t in this expression of vector the sum of the square of the two components of the vector will result in p0 square plus q0 square which means that all these points will lie will lie on a circle of radius p0 square plus q0 square about the origin right so hence gamma sub p0 q0 where p0 q0 is not the origin of r2 is going to be the collection of all the points of r2 such that x square plus y square is equal to p0 square plus q0 square geometrically it represents a circle of radius p0 square plus q the radius square to be equal to p0 square plus q0 square centered about the region or it represents a circle right a circle of radius r to be equal to square root of p0 square plus q0 square about the region okay therefore gamma sub p0 comma q0 with p0 comma q0 not equal to the region is a circle of radius square root of p0 square plus q0 square centered about the region and from what we have discussed earlier it's obvious that gamma sub 0 comma 0 is just the origin it's a set consisting of one point only that is the origin okay now from what we have discussed so far it's evident that p0 q0 this ordered pair is always in gamma sub p0 comma q0 okay because if you choose x and y to be p0 and q0 respectively this is going to be satisfied right which means that the the, the point p0 q0 belongs to this orbit through p0 q0 so is for all p0 q0 in r2 okay let me draw the picture for this guy so this is the region you know and uh, they, they, they are concentric circles concentric circles about the region you know and as you go further away from the region the the circles you no know, uh, the radius of the red eye of the circles getting bigger so um, say this is the point one zero and this is the circle going through the point one zero uh, the uh, the orbit through the point one zero okay so the orientation is induced by the increasing by increasing t that is the angle t represents the angle okay remember that we, we described that at the earlier the induced map the diffeomorphism that takes the plane to itself which is the rotation by an angle t so t represents the angle here okay so so the orientation is given in the increasing direction of of t okay. so let me write it here orientation orientation induced 
by increasing t increasing t that is angle okay so this picture there is a name of this figure that you can find in the lecture notes face portrait of theta in example 2 face portrait of theta in example 2 okay okay now i define face portrait given this picture in the back of your mind you will be able to see what it means by a face portrait definition face portrait a depiction of all possible kinds of orbits that a dynamical system that a dynamical system can have I mean that so when you have the, your space set you, you're going to foliate it with, with all the all the subsets of that given set and you know when you when you depict all those possible orbits of the given set by taking you know varying the points you know, taking different points on the set get different orbits, non-intersecting orbits. And you, you you draw all those orbits uh, for the given space set. That's called the phase portrait. So a depiction of all possible kinds of orbits that a dynamical system can have is known as is known as a phase portrait of the system okay good the figure the figure here shows the face portrait of the dynamical system theta from r cross r2 to r2 given by example this is the face portrayed for the dynamical system in example 2. Good. Now, we move to the definition of an important notion in dynamical system called the infinitesimal generator of a dynamical system. Okay. So, okay, let me erase everything. Infinitesimal generator infinitesimal generator of a dynamical system okay. so given a dynamical system system theta theta from r cross u to u on an open set u of r to the n we can define a vector field 
vector field f from u to r to d n, which does not depend on time explicitly. Okay, we can do that in the following way as follows f of x is going to be the vector field defined by this derivative of the flow map with respect to time evaluated at the point t equal to 0 for all the x in q. This is how we are going to define this vector field. Okay. So now see that we have a dynamical system meaning that we have the flow map defining a vector field out of this flow map. So we or equivalently we can write this definition as or in other words f of x is going to be equal to the limit as h approaches, approaches 0 this this expression theta of h comma x minus theta of 0 comma x divided by h for all x in u. This is equation number 27. Okay, so, so they are equivalent actually. Okay, well since the dynamical system theta, theta, this map is, is assumed to be a C1 map, we are always assuming that it is a C1 map, it follows from 27 that the underlying vector field F is a C1 vector field as well. Okay. We will first show that theta from R cross U to U is actually the flow map for this vector field F or this vector field F. This is the first thing to do. This is how we are going to define this vector field f. Now we got to show that this is indeed a flow map of this vector field f. This is the first thing to do. Okay. So, what is the first thing to do? It the theta is the flow map for the vector field f. This is what we are going to show. Okay. Well, this, the, the vector field f does define, it is called the infinitesimal generator of the dynamical system given by the flow map theta. Um, the vector field, vector field defined in 27 is called the infinitesimal generator, infinitesimal generator of the dynamical system of the dynamical system given by the flow map theta given by the flow map theta okay Good. Infinitesimal generator. Okay. So now the, the goal is to show that this is actually the, the this theta is indeed the flow map for the vector field F. So, in other words, we want to show that 
we want to show that we need to show that the map user p from r to big u given by user p acting on t equal to theta of t comma p for all t in r is indeed the unique solution to the IVP. dx over dt equal to f of x and x at 0 is equal to p. Okay. We need to show this. Then we'll be this will prove that the theta is indeed a flow map of the underlying vector field F. Okay. The vector field F defined you know the infinitesimal generator that we defined earlier. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to raise this part using the using the group action using the group action axioms for theta t comma p in equation number 24 we see that u p u sub p defined in 28 satisfies the following u sub p at q plus h is equal to theta at t plus h comma p is equal to theta of h comma theta of t comma p for all t h in r we then have that u sub p at t plus h is equal to theta of h comma u p of t right for all t h is in r this is equation number 13 does for h non zero we obtain from 30 that up of t plus h minus up of t divided by h is equal to theta at h comma u sub p t minus theta at 0 comma u sub p t divided by h that is going to be 31. Now taking the limit of h approaching 0 t 
taking the limit h approaching 0 in 31 and using the definition of the field and using the definition of the field F in, in, in 27 that is the definition of infinite, infinitesimal generator of the dynamical system we see that we, one immediately obtains so as so if you take the limit h approaching 0 on the left hand side you get the derivative of up with respect to t right up prime t and on the right hand side that gives us the definition you know from the definition of the infinitesimal generator of the dynamical system we get f evaluated at u sub p of t okay. which indeed solves this IDP 29 right because we immediately see that we also see that um, you see that th this is this this means that u p u sub p of t solves this system okay and now let us see that how this also satisfies this initial condition because we see that u sub p of 0 is going to be theta of 0 comma p right and this is p from the first group action axiom okay. which means that u sub p t solves this IVB okay. okay so what's the conclusion then if u sub p solves this IVB then we conclude that one concludes that u sub p from r to e big u okay solves the IVP 29 which was to be shown right this is what we wanted to show this is a global solution of the initial value problem 29 good now there is an important remark here very important remark which tells us that we have seen that we have seen earlier that every continuous dynamical system every continuous dynamical system theta from r cross cu to u has an associated has an associated c1 vector field 
which is the infinitesimal generator of the dynamical system defined you know, a while ago. F from U to R to the N defined by 26 or equivalently by 27. Namely, namely the infinitesimal generator, infinitesimal generator of data. Okay. However, it is not the case. It is not the case that every C1 vector field, C1 vector field F has an associated dynamical system. Dynamical system theta from r cross u to u okay the issue at hand is that solutions to the ivb the issue at hand is that the solution to the ivb dx over dt equal to f of x, x of 0 is equal to b. The solution of this IVP may not be defined for all time t, may not be defined for all t in r, okay? It may not admit a global solution. So, if even if F is a C1 vector field, this IVP may not, this IVP may not um, admit a global solution. In that case, you don't find a dynamical system associated with the C1 vector field. That's the case. That's the thing. But if this IVP admits a global solution, you have an associated dynamical system for the C1 vector field. But whenever you have a dynamical system, you can always find a C1 vector field, which is the infinitesimal generator of the, of the underlying dynamical system. Okay. All right. So I think we, we will take a break now. Um, we'll end this segment here. In the last segment, we'll start with, uh, with an interesting example of, of uh, in interesting example demonstrating how to find the infinitesimal generator associated with the dynamical system. Thank you for attending this segment.